An explosion behind a home in North Haven, Connecticut, has injured eight police officers Wednesday night, CBS affiliate WFSB-TV reports, citing North Haven first select man Michael Frieda. None of the injuries appeared to be life-threatening, Frieda said. A large fire was also burning early into Thursday morning. North Haven police said they were investigating a domestic violence incident around 7 p.m. Wednesday that led to a barricaded individual and prompted a SWAT team response. Frida explained that the man had taken his wife hostage and officers were trying to get him out when the explosion happened. State police said the suspect had not yet been apprehended and called it an active situation, it's quite surprising, Frida said. This is a quiet, residential neighborhood. It's been a very emotional scene, the cause of the explosion is under investigation. A look at a home explosion in Connecticut on Wednesday, May 2, 2018, WFSB-TV reporter Matthew Campbell wrote that the suspect was still inside the home, but the wife was able to escape after being held for four days. North Haven Update, at least four injured in Quinnipiac Avenue explosion. Connecticut State Police and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives ATF, also responded to the incident. Images from a WFSB-TV photojournalist show the scene and a large amount of flames, multiple officers injured. I saw about four police officers being put into ambulances with possible injuries. Now being told to take shelter. Fire is still burning. Two males being taken away in handcuffs. It's unclear what their connection is to the explosion. It was the explosion, then we heard all the, oh my god, all the ambulances and fire engines. The noise from all the emergency vehicles was unbelievable, she told the AP. It's a shock. Nothing ever happens like this in North Haven. WFSB-TV reports that electricity to the area was turned off by Paulist resulting in 174 customers without power. North Haven is located just outside of New Haven and about 30 miles south of Connecticut's capital Hartford. CBS News senior investigative producer Pat Milton contributed to this report.